let's mount something today. So, I just hung out with the guys last week at ProClick, and look what I brought home. Ah yes, another phone mount. This one is for my Jeep Gladiator JT. Now, just so you know, this is just the same as in our Jeep Wrangler, the actual piece, this long piece. But this piece is a little different. This one's for the iPhone 10 and 11 because I'll be getting my new iPhone 11 in a couple days. The only tool you're gonna need today is a small Phillips screwdriver. Elevator music. Grab your vehicle specific center mount and check it out. There are six holes on this front face. Okay? You have to decide. There's four screws you're gonna screw in, so you have to decide exactly which four holes you wanna use. From experience on our Wrangler, James and I use the left four holes. So that's how we're going to mount our foam cradle onto our center mount. Once you've decided on the four holes you're going to use, you are going to take your mini Phillips and right in the center here, you're gonna loosen the screw inside. Now this screw is not gonna come out all the way, so just get it nice and loose, and then you're gonna pop off this piece from your foam cradle mount, just like that. And as you can see, the screw is still inside. You're not gonna lose that piece. Next, you're gonna take that piece you just took off of your mount and these four little screws. You're gonna use these screws to screw that piece into the four holes that you chose. Again, we chose the left four holes, but it's up to your discretion. So place this on the phone mount, your center mount, and line it up with the holes. Be careful, these screws are kind of small. And you don't want to lose them. After you get all four of these itty bitty cute screws screwed into place, you're ready to mount something. Now that you've finished those four screws, grab your phone mount, and you're going to look at the back of your phone mount. And notice that in the center of this phone mount, in the center of that ball, there is a squared off area where the screw is. You're going to line that up with the center of your phone mount in order to screw that back into place. I suggest that you take your thoughts and you place this in the screw so you could push this out and have control of that little ball inside in order to line this up with the center of your center mount like so, and now that I've lined it up, I'm going to tighten that screw. The best thing about these pro clip mounts is that you can adjust them, even this ball piece that we did. So as you can see, it swivels your phone up and down, right to left, even on a diagonal. So you can adjust your phone at your desired angle for where it is placed in your Jeep. And if you want it to be a looser swivel, you just unscrew that Screw a little bit and it swivels a little freer. If you're like, no, no, I don't want it to be like that. When I'm driving and hitting bumps, especially when I'm off-roading, I need it tight so it stays in place. You screw that screw in a little tighter and maybe I gotta do it a little tighter. And it's harder to move and it stays a little more stationary. All right, once your piece looks like this, it's time to mount something. All right, we're all set. Now, if you notice on the back of the phone mount, there's this blue little piece of film. You're gonna pull that off if you wanna use the adhesive. Another good thing about ProClip is you have options. You can pull this off, use the adhesive, and affix it to the dash exactly where you want so it never moves. Or you could do what James and I do. We don't take this off, and we just put it on our dash so we could slide this back and forth at our leisure depending on what the circumstance is. All right, last step, we're going to actually snap this into place. Now, if you decide to use the adhesive, 
choose your location before you snap it because then it's stuck. Um, since we do not use the adhesive, we're just gonna place it on just like so by lining up this part of the phone mount and that's gonna grab onto this lip of the dash, like so. As you can see, this is the area where it's hanging on to the dashboard lip. Now, last step, you just use this nice arm to push it down. Voila! All right, now this is the reason why we don't use the adhesive. And it's all upon preference, but we like to be able to slide it along the dash depending on what's going on or where we're going. Maybe the driver puts their phone in. Maybe the passenger puts their phone in. So you could slide it around, angle it however you want. As you can see, you can angle it with ease. And remember, unscrew that center screw if you want that to adjust a little easier. Now, you can also slide it around so that you can free up your center little compartments here. All right, free and clear. Or, if you don't care about that, you can place it wherever you want. James and I usually leave it about here while we're driving, and we feed a cord through here. All right, the final step. You're gonna need that little Phillips again. Remember, you're gonna use these screws to adjust the setting of the width of your phone. What's nice about this is it adjusts to the size of those cases that everyone loves to put on their phones. All you have to do is loosen these up with your handy dandy little Phillips, like so. You don't need to loosen them too much. I'm just loosening them up so you can see. And then these pull out and they push in. Now I'm gonna grab James's iPhone 10. That has a case on it, by the way. Place it in the cradle and adjust to his size, and it's a perfect fit. Now, you might think you're done, but you're not. Take this out gently, and if you know that this is the phone you use all the time, you're gonna retighten these screws so it locks this mount in place. After tightening those screws, place your phone back in and make sure that it's secure. If you want to be able to adjust this at your leisure, James and I suggest, you can see how snug that was, right? We suggest that you unscrew these screws just a touch to the point where these are, they're very hard to pull out, but they're manageable so that you can adjust to your phone, James's phone, the iPhone 10 or when I get the 11, I am gonna need to adjust it a little farther out. And that seems to work quite nicely for us. You'll just have to figure out the adjustment on your screws yourself and feel the tightness yourself. And there you have it. We have a Pro Clip phone mount mounted into the Gladiator JT. It's never been so easy to mount something. Thanks for watching this video. Please like it, comment below, and subscribe to our channel. And keep watching our videos. And there you have it. We have our Pro Clip phone mount mount sound. <laughs> Hold on. And there you have it. We have our phone. What is it? Pro clip. Oh.